previous Drew exercise called the maze, shown here, we solved the problem in a straightforward manner by inserting nested if statements one inside the other. As we revisit the maze here in this exercise, we will demonstrate a brand new concept called recursion, which can also be used to solve this problem. Let's first start by looking at the full solution. As you can see, the behavior of the Jeru, as it finds its way through the maze, is identical to the solution we had in the earlier exercise. However, the recursive algorithm that we're going to show here is quite different in its implementation. To understand what we mean by recursion, let's have a peek at part of the solution. Here inside the move method, we see something quite peculiar. While we are clearly looking to see if we can move to the left, and if we can, we turn and hop. Look at this strange call. We're calling the move method from inside the move method. In other words, we're calling ourselves. This is what is meant by recursion. Take a moment now and stop this video and try to figure out all the ramifications of calling a method from inside itself. Remember that when the first method finishes, it's going to return right here and the execution flow is going to continue. Try to experiment with this recursive algorithm by adding additional legs to what is shown here to see if you can solve this maze in a similar fashion to what was solved previously. In other words, we want the Jeru to keep moving to the left. If it can't move to the left, we want it to move forward. If it can't move forward, we want to move to the right. And if we can't do any of those things, we want to turn around. With these hints in place, Try to find a recursive solution to the maze problem. Feel free to go on Google and do some research also on how recursion can be used to solve maze problems. You might find that the hints that you get from your research will help you to solve this problem.